So this is how Egene looks like. And before Egene comes to look like this, it comes in a way. They call it a way. The yogas call it a way. But we can say layers. So it comes in long layers that they now cut to make a full gilly. So these are where are joined together to make this full gilly. So if, if I come closer, you can see that there is a joining and a joining here. So that makes this gilly made of three away. There are some gillies that are also made of four away. That one is to be a little bit wider than this. Ideally, when tying your gilly, depending on how you can maintain those pleats, four to five pleats go on one hour just from this place to this place. So when you are tying, you make sure that at least you have four to five pleats, depending on how you can maintain this pleats. I'm going to be telling you how to measure your gilly according to a style. Like if you hear like is a 70 30 ratio, 80 20, how to measure these ratios on your gilly. So a gilly comes fully like this. This is the full length of a gilly. This is how it comes. This as the gilly is like this, any gilly you are using, this is a hundred percent gilly. So if we are using a 50 50 percent for a particular style. All you need to do is just fold your gilly into two equal parts since it's 50 50 percent starting point is going to be at the center of your client's edge at the center so that is what will make 50 go to the left and 50 go to the right so if we are talking of about a 75 25 ratio so this gilly is in 50 50 and we know that half of 50 is 25. So all we are going to be doing is just taking one portion of this 50 and folding it into two again to make it 25. So this is the first 50 here and the second 50 has been folded into two. So once you do it like that, you are just going to take this point. Now, this is 50, this is 25. And this is 25. So you are just going to join this 25 to this 50 and make it 75. So you are going to be starting from this point. So this place is 75 and this place is 25. So this place is going to be at the center of your client's head. So right now, to know a 60-40 ratio, how to measure a 60-40 ratio, you are just going to take your gaze back into two equal halves, which is 50-50. And all you are going to be doing here, now you are going to be using your finger, the finger techniques to measure. So we assume the distance between these two fingers is 5 inches. So what you are going to do is that you are going to take your gilly and measure it like this. Since we need 10 inches to go to a side, so we are going to measure 10 inches. This is 5 and this is 5. So you are going to taking that point so this is a 60 40 gilly now this is 60 and this other side is 40 so that is how to take your measurement when you want to tie any gilly style also note that gilly measurement differs according to the gilly style you are going for and the gilly length you are using. Right now, I'm going to be telling you how to measure or how to identify your gilly length. So, ideally, there are three gilly lengths, which is two yard, which is 72 inches, two and a quarter yard, which is 81 inches, and two and a half yard, which is 90 inches. Basically, there are two methods to knowing a gilly length without using a tepo, which is your arm-to-arm -arm method or from your waist it is not professional enough to be taking your measuring tape to your client's place just to know the gilly length. I will advise you to do if you want to know your gilly length. Is first of all, you will take your measuring tape in your closet. Don't take it to your client's place. This is something you already know. Once you do it once, from there you know where your measurement stops on your body. 
So measuring tape is not so long, it stops at 16 inches. All what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be dividing these different measurements from our two yards to the two quarter to two and a half. We are going to be dividing them into two. So for a two yard gale, which is 72 inches, we are going to be dividing 72 divided by two, which is 36. So this using 36, we are going to assume that our gale, our gale is folded into two equal halves. So you are just going to be using the arm to arm method. You are just going to be holding your tape pull like this and knowing where 32 inches stops on you. So for me, this is where 36, sorry, 36 inches. So this is where 36 inches stops for me. So any gilet that I carry and I put it on my arm and it stops here, just automatically know that it is a two inches gilet for you. So you are supposed to try this. This might differ because of how long some people's hands or how broad they are so you are going to be trying this just hold your gilly like this you can see me and just know where 36 inches stops so if you want to know a two and a quarter yard which is 81 inches so it's one divided by two is 40.5 so we are just going to be looking for 40.5 on our measuring tip and So this is where a 40.5 measurement reached for me. So any gilet that stops at this point, I already know it's a two and a quarter gilet. So for me, it is stopping on my arm. For me, I already know it's a two and a quarter gilet. And so to, make, to know a two and a half, you're going to be dividing it by two. 90 divided by two is 45. So any gilly I pick and it's out of my shoulder, I already know that this gilly is a two and a half gilly. Same also, same thing for, for your waist measurement. You are just going to be you are just going to place your measuring tape directly on your waist and know where each measurement stops for you. So any gilly you pick and it stops at that same measurement, you just know what measurement the gilly is. As I said before, as assume that gele is folded into two because we use half of this measurement. So me picking this gele, I'm just going to use the arm to arm method. As you can see, it stops directly where my 36 inches stop there. So I assume it's a two yard. Taking another gele, I fold it into two and I do the same thing. I hold it for one arm. And as you can see, it stops directly on my shoulder. That means this gilly is a two and a quarter yard gilly, which is 81 inch. For my last trial here, I'm just going to be doing the same thing. Fold the gilly into two and place it on your arm. As you can see here, this gilly passed my shoulder. So I'm going to be taking this gilly as a two and a half gilly so that is how you just know the length and don't forget you can also use your waist to also identify your gilly length finally guys i'll be also telling you the proper pinning technique you need to use when pinning your gilly down on each other there are some people that pin in in such a way that the pin as if they are pinning a cloth and the pin will show like this. Like this technique is very wrong in pinning gilly. Your pin should not show like this. So all you are going to do is that you take your pin and pinch it to that to the gilly that you want to pin down. As you can see, it is inside already. Then you just direct it to the one under, pinch it, pinch that one under and push it in. So right now, this is how the pin looks like. It just mid, it's just the end of the pin that is showing. So guys, we've come to the end of this video, and I hope you learned one or two things. You have the basic knowledge on daily styling by now. So before you click out, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button if you haven't. Like this video if you found it very helpful. Comment down below if you enjoyed watching this video or if you learned one or two things. Please comment down below. Share this video to your loved ones. 
Thank you. God bless you. Bye.